Trevor Murdoch is so tough he can drive through Ethiopia on the moped with a bucket of fried chicken strapped to his back. All right. That's roughly thereof what Jim Cornette said on this show. And, you know, on National Wrestling Alliance before. And, I, you know what, I'm going to call Dusty Smith on this. I haven't watched his podcast, his podcast. And this isn't anti-Dusty. This is just wanting to say, to set something straight because he said he was fired or released from NWA. And Jim Cornette quits. Jim Cornette makes more money working for himself than he does working for a wrestling promotion. Or running a pro, or, or running a wrestling promotion, all wrestling promotions actually call Cornette in, so they can get a boost in in views and whatnot, which the NWA did. Jim Cornette does the commentary; they keep it on the show for a while. That means they've gone through four or five checks and balances, maybe even six, and no one even noticed it. No one even cared because it was over their heads. Because the joke was not racist; it was about famine and starvation. So basically, you could take one of the most delicious foods on the planet and drive through the most famine place on the planet and not get touched because you're that badass. That's really what Cornette's trying to get across. I knew it before there was even a hoopla on Twitter. When he said the joke, I'm like, what? That's dumb. But, you know, Twitter decides one person decides to blow up. So everyone has to blow up. And then everyone takes it out of context and then tells how others must take it. So everyone says it's racist, it's mean. We're not going to watch NWA as long as Jim Cornette is there. And NWA is like, you know what? Because you all said something, we're going to try to go up, go with it. So instead of showing their regular program that has Jim Cornette on it, they decide to scrub that and do some like a really crappy match uh, in an empty arena and a bunch of reviews and interviews and things like that. So the people were angry. It literally got 50-50 upvote, downvote. That's what the show got. And although it got that, the great majority of comments were very anti-programming. They would, I mean, they had many jokes. And if Trevor Murdoch wasn't over then, he's over now. So, is a, you know, and Jim Cordell was going for starvation. Black Africans... All right, that's what he's talking about. And he's not even referring to that. Ethiopia, the country, the starvation capital of the planet. All right, that's what Jim Cornette's talking about. And people blow up about it. They call him racist, as I've already said, and it's been refuted. Anyone with common sense, and since sense ain't common, most people just didn't get it. So fine. So that's all said and done. Cornette quit. He didn't. He wasn't forced to resign. He just said, it's not fun for me anymore, and I don't want to be a part of it right now, so I'm done. He left. Again. That's what Cornette does. Plays the screw with him, he leaves. There's no need to stay in stupidity. So, he was never fired. Now, and yes, you got to listen to Jim Cornette show to usually get this stuff. And listen to the NWA and whatnot. You know, you get an understanding then. So, now, let's Fast forward, it's been a week and a half now. <laughs> it's been a week and a half. So now, after all of this, and everyone being angry, and you know, you, you can listen to my commentary on CR Fire Pro. No, you know what, screw it, I'll just say it here. As Cornette said that, I thought to myself, Trevor Murdoch is known for being a racist. So what's worse, Trevor Murdoch being racist on the show, or Cornette saying something that was misconstrued in the racism that's on the show? You know? What's worse? The NWA is the one that contracts Trevor Murdoch. They didn't contract Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette did two days of work that they that they sat on for two months and then they sparsed it out for like eight weeks. It's what they did. Now, let's fast forward to something that triggered me today. Because out of all this hoopla that's happened... And, this, and all this anger and vitriol and stuff, I see this ad while watching one of my favorite little cute shows to watch on YouTube. They, knew who, they know who they are, the mommy and daddy. They know who they are. But this airs during their show, which is educational, actually. Their show is extremely educational. But, and I don't want to call out the names because they might not want to be associated with this, what I'm saying. But right now, just hear me out. This thing called Band Together, they decide that they're going to talk about ending hunger. They're going to talk about, you know, saving people's lives. 
you know, and doing better for the misfortunate. So they show a complete slew of video and photos of black Africans. They show a slew of poor or happy, you know, other people of color, you know, Mexican based or Mexicano or Mexicana based, you know, or those in Spain, you know, people of color from around the world, third world or second world, but people that are starving or might be starving or associated with, and some that might not even be close to it, but hey, you're not white. And why would I say that? Do you think I'm just being triggered to be triggered safe? No, because they show these, these black Africans and, and black people from various other places, even the United States, and they talk about them being hungry, no food, poor, poverty, you know, and trying to end hungry. So then you hear, basically, Daddy, how can we help them? Well, we can if we band together. And it's just a white guy and his white daughter. So white people will save the day of all the starving black people, all the eth ethnic people out there, all the third world, multicolored, multinational, but yet non-white people. That's what the commercial says to me. That's what I saw. And that's what pisses me off after all this hoopla, all this talk about racism, how Donald Trump even, you know, oh, the, the Puerto Ricans love me. You know, I, I helped them. I, they, they love what I did. Yeah, you shot like a basketball paper towels. Oh, they were the best, most absorbent paper towels. Trust me, you know, their homes are devastated. 100% of the island is decimated with no place to live and no power, no nothing, no food. But you know what? These paper towels will fix it all. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I hate you. I don't want you, President. I don't even want you in the United States. You still want to do business overseas? Then get the fuck over there and stay. Leave us be. All right? Anyone like that, go. Just fucking go. You know, you don't want to honestly and properly support the United States of America, then fucking go. Band together wants to do this whole thing. Oh, yeah, let this white guy and his daughter, you know, talk about helping the starvation, you know, around the planet. But it has to be starvation. Just aren't white people. Hey, not long ago, I had, you know, I'm sitting there, me and my family giving this white guy some money because he's starving and homeless. So that's a slap in the face to all of them. But you know what it does? It perpetuates the whole stereotype, the whole business of white America is awesome and anything not white is horrible and needs help. Help that we won't give them. You know, what's, what else is going to happen? Because I, I remember a, a, a charity for, uh, you know, Ethiopia. I remember this guy being on TV, well-dressed, well-manicured, well-fed, you know, white guy talking about helping these people when they got flies on their faces and stuff, showing them so skinny and, and so hungry, their stomachs are bloated. This guy looks so well amongst all these people that are just jacked up beyond all recognition. You mean the bearded dude? Yeah, I'm not calling out names. And I'm I don't trying know to, his name either. No. Nah. And, and he and this, and this woman was also doing the same thing. And I also remember that, I also remember it come out that this money wasn't going to these charities. Oh, no, 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 no. It was funneled into Africa and places like that and then funneled to the dictators. And then funneled to hotels where he and she and others like them, these missionaries per se, would go over there and just feast and have fun. Well, the money was just, it was just a ruse. And if, any, and if they were trying to help, if they were honestly trying to help, it didn't look like it. Because over those two to three decades of seeing, I watched him as I grew up. I watched him before he was bearded. I watched him as he grew old. I watched her as she was in her middle ages and growing old. And you know what? They stayed all right. All right every time. And kept showing the same old pictures. And then when there was anything new to show, it was just jacked up. Somebody drinking from, from muddy water. I'm like, this, this guy is standing there watching. watching with a bottle of water at his side. 
See, I was too young to really get it then. I won't but goddamn 12 or 13. But today, looking back on it, I'm like, man, fuck you. God damn it. This, this is America. But that's what it is. And it sucks. The United States sucks. You got me want to funnel money through the Clinton Foundation? Because that worked. They got wealthy off of you and your charity. Or people just donating to charity as a tax write-off to make more money. This, that's what's going on. So while Jim Cornette can make a joke about famine, misconstruing the racism, this band together, band together for USA and other stuff, whatever this organization truly is, they get to actually show the racist joke in action. They are so badass, they can show you that only black people and other people of color starving and there's no one that's going to do anything about it because that's all it is sorry you people of color you're broke poor starving we could end world hunger but we're not but don't worry we'll talk to white fathers and their daughters and they will help you white people will save the day if you want to know why people are hating white people it's stuff like this that we've watched for the past 50 and plus years you get tired you get tired of it and as much as I always try to be right down the middle and say hey you can't blame white people for everything and stuff like that no I can't blame every white every white person for this that's dumb I'm not but if you are white and you see that commercial and you think wow I want to help those people you know you're not. You want to. Well, you donate $5, $10. How about we throw this back out? Your 25, your 25 cents a month will help feed someone for a week. Really? Really? Just throwing it out there? And people donated hundreds, thousands of dollars. And it didn't change. And now we've got this. You know, we, we've got the 21st century version of let's use some starving black people and people of color to, you know, make right, white people rich. And it's not all white people. It's just those that are in on it. Maybe what? Maybe two or three hundred tops that are in on the whole organization. Somebody that want a place to work. Somebody that's going to head it. Somebody that's going to supervise it. You know, and then you got the grounds people that, that work all right. Because lots of missionaries, evangelicals, they go to these places, they build homes, they build them right up. And then all these poor people with no religion are all of a sudden going to become religious. And think, yes, they're all oh, praise white God, white Jesus, praise them. And then the dictators come in and tear the shit down saying, no, you don't get nothing good. The missionaries don't complain about it. They'll be like, we'll just go somewhere else and build. Are you going to come back and help us? Nope. That's been documented. So that's, you have to just take that one right there. So how are you going to do this? There's, I, don't, I don't know what to say to help. I really don't. If that turns you off, that's not my problem. That's yours. The only one that can really help stop this is you, the listener. So you can go to bandtogether.org or whatever it is and get something done. You know? Roast them or something, I don't care. But they expose the business. The business of, of actual racism and stupidity. That's all I got to say. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.